Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to the exciting episode of I the Som the Somnian Files. In the previous episode, we went to find out where the heck Ranjo is. Ranjo went missing, and then during that time, Mizuki is back to talking again. How? I do not know. I do not understand how. She just happened to get it back. Today's episode right now, we're going to keep on finding where Ranju's at. So if you have today's episode, make sure that like when the support is great to the channel because our next location is the uh, Kumakura office, which I believe that's gang territory right there. So let's go. And supposedly new YouTube rules or whatever is that... Whether it's demonetized or not, I better start commentating because whatever you've seen in this video it's going to be considered as quote unquote reused content. So I better start commenta commentating so make sure it doesn't sound like reused. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Alright, bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bet! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. New serial killer? Man. And of course we would have to beat, beat up the Yakuza gang. gang. MoMA, huh? About Shoko did the Kumakura's killer where the chairman. Do you know anything on the investment fraud? Investment fraud? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Fuck no. Why would we do that? <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. 
Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. So... Huh? Let's see... Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. And at some point, we would have to use the x-ray vision, right? I don't think these would help. Or the goons. I got nothing to say to you. Of course you won't. So what would be kept hidden? The dragon? If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. Shenron! Okay, shrine. Shinto shrine. Okay. Shenron! Help me! I wish for panties. I told you that's not Shenron. Shenron! Okay. What would he have in that? We would have to use the x-ray visions. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm about to say, don't we- Wouldn't there be an option just to show the x-ray vision? So yeah, like I said, new YouTube rear, rear laws that's been going for a while, but now they're really getting at it. That they need some type of not reused content, so might as well throw my voice in it because that ain't reused, that's original. After 40, your toenails grow slower. Well, that's an interesting model. I mean, they still say that even after death, your nails will indeed grow. There would be no point in talking to him. Yeah. My concern is... Wow, that is a... That is a tiger. Not the ashtray. Ima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. Yo, can we just turn it on by ourselves? Oh, what we have here? Huh? Is he the one that gave him? There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An Asa figure. Correct. But why is that there? He's a fan. Fan. But perhaps. He's a fan. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Asa, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never being a pussy shit like that, fucker. Well, it don't matter either way, because these guys be cussing left and right, so there goes our mon monetization. Water fears. What? Shadows. Threat! A silhouette! ASAP! Oh, it's the freaking thing. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? ASAP! Water. Wet! Uh, sweat! ASAP! He sent you back! Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Y yes, sir. There goes my monetization. Found one, grabbed the skinny one, and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Including Moma. Right. 
Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide? Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Well, they just pretty much sums up basic human anatomy on right there. So keep on talking about that, and then we'll look on Ranju and Ian that title. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Totally blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually, he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, Cops busted. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know. His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex.
Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscade. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. How did you know? You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. I pretty much liked it when the freaking eye was right there, but now she's our passenger for the ride. I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. I'm already tired of this, Iva. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours. But our investigation has made zero progress. Sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh, right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. Come with me, to where you belong.
The official title is A.I. Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. This time is different. An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Or something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive. Hey, about that five-digit command, how did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Really? About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Aiba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date. The line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. 
If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. It, it's connected. It's ringing. I thought you said you did get nervous. Down, deep breaths. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name, get his name! How? No, that is too suspicious. Okay, let me think. Uh, uh, my sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. Is this Yamada? No. This is... Say it, say it! Are you sure you have the right number? It can't be. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan! You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am So Sejima, the congressman. A politician? Sejima? Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely So Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Like that. <laughs> 
Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub. Stop! The nerve might break! Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. You will kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well... To be sure... Look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima.